Hello Libra, this is your extended reading. Um, okay, so this portion of your reading, it feels like this up and down, up and down, up and down motion. And I feel like the ups or, you know, the highs and the lows are not exactly what you are expecting, right? Because usually the highs tend to be like ecstasy and euphoria and excitement and the lows are like this um sense of loss sense of pain sense of misery and stagnation perhaps so it's not exactly this and i feel like what is being guided here for you, Libra, is that instead of being in this up and down road, right? Almost as if, you know, I can see or I can sense how being in this washing machine of fate or, you know, being thrown one side and the other without any sense of control or, you know, when, with no possibility of trying to find stability or even find the truth right and i feel like you are immersed in i don't want to say it's the word that is coming through but i feel like it's too harsh it's coming through as desperation with the eight of swords here because i feel like the the only way that you can find yourself well, that you can potentially see yourself, Libra, out of this washing machine that, you know, maybe makes you lose the sense of direction and orientation, right? It's like this searching for the truth of relationships, right? And the interesting thing is because we have the two of cups here. And I was like literally inside this up and down motion. It's almost like I could feel like I was inside this washing machine with you or maybe like a roller coaster. But this eight of swords followed by the, the two of cups and the three of swords, right? There's a lot in here, but the main motion that I was seeing is like this wanting to go up, but then the maybe this relationship or the the attempt to find the bottom truth behind this relationship right and maybe it's not even a relationship in your life maybe it's just like what is a relationship per se or what is like behind any kind of relationship right wanting to understand how relationships are created or how relationships are formed right and then with the three of swords it's like your your attempt to go back up and meaning back up to the other side of this black hole right because remember at the end of the first part we also saw that those extra cards that you know the distance between the earth and the sun it's like you you are being taken back to the well to the starting point where this distance is what you are allowed to perceive or what you are capable to perceive being here on earth right because you well you had accessed this very privileged point of view right um being able to see beyond but so it's like there is this well attempt i want to say that is permeating your mind maybe 24 7 right because of this intensity of the eight of swords and maybe because it's like a natural or like um like an instinctual behavior right because you were taken from that close-up shot like so abruptly with the eight of wands so your natural response is so what can i do like um rationally right trying to seek this truth through reasoning through thinking maybe through overthinking of okay so what do i have to do to get back that artifact to get back that special lens that could give me this further view right and this two of cups maybe this is a specific relationship in 
your life, Libra, that is bringing you back. I'm seeing this Two of Cups suddenly as being very grounding, right? It's like these two want to slip away and fly away. And, you know, it's like be unearthed. Is that the right way to say it? It's like be ungrounded, right? It's like there are, it's almost like there are anchors, right? Maybe surrounding a relationship and this relationship is the thing that is <laughs> keeping you on earth with that distance from the sun you know when you went already beyond and so maybe there is this incredible frustration of trying to see again with that special lens that could you know take you beyond the sun beyond the black hole right it's like you it's like that is painful and i i it's almost like i'm in this washing machine with you right trying to escape but it's like maybe it's not even the relationship in itself maybe it's your desire to understand this relationship that is putting you in this incredible experience that is making you lose your ground but also find that being grounded by this relationship is not good right it's like you want to it's like you want to explore this higher love and what you're being given remember the last card the bottom of the deck of the first part was the three of pentacles when you were given the possibility or this privileged view to explore the three of cups it's like you're given with just a a, a restricted version of what you were really perceiving or you were starting to have a real look at right and here you are again it's like these it's almost like there's something missing right there's something that you are not that you are annoyed that you cannot see further that you have to have this human perspective again right but this is how it gets really really interesting because next we have the lovers so a look at the i don't know if i'll be able to hold all of them but i don't know if you'll be able to see it how i'm seeing but here it's the first high and i want to say high as something that is not like filling you with love and excitement it's something that is incredibly stressful and painful and annoying and frustrating right and then the two of cups is coming through as like this grounding moment wh where you are being pulled back to earth that is the reason why i'm saying like this is like the low but it's not what you're expecting right because the low that should feel bad or awful is like is filled with this human version of what you were having a glimpse of like something that is bigger or deeper right and then wanting to release yourself from this relationship perhaps from this contract perhaps or at least from this restrictive perception of what a relationship a human relationship is right so you are I, this is so confusing i hope i am able to um translate this how it should be how it is coming with the intensity that is coming so when you are back there to the it's almost like this next high right is filled with things that you are intentionally wanting to free yourself from right but then when this card comes through this lovers the interesting thing is that the contrast like literally we have all of the cards that you know are typically talking about love and love relationships and romantic love and you know universal love human love higher love it's all it's like that is the washing machine that you're in like of what is relationships like what is 
What is a relationship made of? What is the difference between the human version, the higher version? Is there a point where you can distinguish both or are all them the same? And this is what this card is talking about. It's like, stop wanting to shorten this distance, right? It's like, if you want to find the truth, that is the immovable point of this uh, Wheel of Fortune, which, you know, is the center that is like this, this truth, right, that you're seeking, Libra. Stop comparing or stop thinking that you have to do this up and down, up and down, up and down, right? Trying to free yourself from any sort of perception that this human love is restricted or is grounding you to the point that is um distancing you from this other very privileged vision that you had previously right what this card is talking about is that love well true love right true love what is like the fabric of relationships is not it has no direction. <laughs> oh my God, does this make any sense? It's like what this is talking about at this, is this that it's like love is disorienting. Love makes you lose sense of boundaries, lose sense of up and down and left and right and sense of orientation and direction right? And I don't want to say lose your sense of boundaries, meaning that you lose yourself in this relationship, but it's a little bit what I'm seeing here. And the guidance that is coming from this lover's card is that the truth, oops, the car wants to fly just like you, Libra. The truth that you're seeking is at the center of this spinning wheel of this washing machine that you're thrown at every direction not knowing what you can hold on to right basically love has no direction has no distance right it's all your perception it's like the truth that you're seeking is here right and however this love can express it's like it's so multiple i feel like there is some sort of attempt here on your part libra after being you know having this very close look on what relationships are and then being thrown back to maybe your relationship, to your reality, to your actual life here on earth, right? And being knocked out by that is like, or knocked down by that because it's like you had a glimpse of something that is so deep, so truthful that even that felt knowledge that you received when you sneaked uh when you peeked into these three cups maybe you're not accepting that truth right but maybe it's hard really to grasp this totality that is love and how this love expresses in so many forms that you cannot pinpoint or that you cannot it's like you cannot classify as high or low or you know it's like left or right it's like there is there is no categorization of love right so these two cards coming next judgment and the empress this well it's very interesting this empress card is talking about neurons that are being connected right you see here it's like there is like you know leaves coming this way and leaves coming this way and connecting at the center and i feel like 
there is something well we're talking maybe about this distance right that you got really close to some sort of truth but then you lost it and wanting to go back to it desperately and maybe losing sight of the real relationships that you already had thinking that they were too small because you have perceived something or actually had a glimpse of something that is so much bigger and maybe getting frustrated of the restrictions that you were experiencing here on earth in an actual human relationship, right? So you wanted more, right? You wanted more, but here it is. It's like, I mean, this is coming through as like the decision of the universe, right? The decision of the universe is that there is no distance. So. I'm confused, to be honest. It's like when this card talks about love having no direction, right? Love is omnipresent, right? This is what this is. So maybe you feel like you're being thrown all over the place, being in this washing machine of fate, right? Because it's hard to perceive love as this all encompassing feeling or it's more than that it's like what is the word it's not a feeling it's like it's and it's not maybe it's like atmosphere right being in the atmosphere of love maybe that is what you were glimpsing at when you peek through the black hole right is this atmosphere of love where you have no orientation it's not like here on earth where you have this sense of direction of front and back and left you know one side and the other right so it's it's pretty confusing if you are going through this confusion right now libra i can totally understand because i'm i'm seeing it through this like I'm not really understanding and maybe that is what really frustrates you because you want to go to the bottom of it. You know, no matter what it takes, this is what the eight of swords and the three of swords are showing me. It's like, no matter how painful it is, it's like you really want to find the truth of this and understand like why, maybe why, why do you feel so restricted when you experience something that is so incredible and so total, right? It's like so, it's like the sea of love, right? That you don't have to have any direction. You don't have to have any orientation. You just feel it. You just immerse yourself in this love, right? So, that is the decision of the universe in a sense it's like maybe you're having all of these like it's almost like i'm seeing the like the point of connection between neurons right this is what the empress is talking about and well the empress to me is a very earthy connection right is very connected to the natural realm to the earthy bound natural realm but like in nature right things are connected as much as you saw here between the hearts of humans right between the hearts of people that are in relationship it's like you saw what made them want to be together it's like you saw the birth of relationships you you could see that type of initial spark of love like you you had that glimpse libra what this is talking about is that even when you lose track of it because maybe you were cut off from that perspective and you were thrown back to this very restricted perspective here on earth right still the love is all-encompassing it doesn't matter where you are perceiving it from right this well this is like an immovable truth right but your perception is giving this all-encompassing love this characteristic 
right? It's like ups and downs, ups and downs, you know? It's like very human version of it. So what these two cards are talking about for you, Libra, as a guidance and something that, well, if we were talking about you perceiving the birth of the relationship, right? And feeling it and understanding it with your heart and wanting, it's like you had a glimpse of it and you wanted more, but suddenly you were cut off it. So what you were left with was a human version of it right? So you did it, but you didn't want to analyze that type of version. You wanted to analyze this type of version, right? So, okay. This decision is talking about seeing this birth again, right? Because it's talking about the rebirth. It's not your rebirth. It's not the rebirth of a relationship. Perhaps it is for some people, but is the rebirth of how you can perceive how the fabric of relationships work, not being on this side, but being in this human perspective, right? And having all of the natural realm show you how these connections are made. So I wanna say with this Empress card and what the rebirth is being, it's almost like the universe is asking you to perceive even from where you stand right now right wherever you are in the world wherever you are in this planet look to nature to see the connections of true love that do not that, that you know is not measured by any sort of category any sort of label any sort of nothing it's like it's ju it's just there it, it is like the love is there is in nature and these two cards are asking you to from your human perspective see this and your own neurons will make the connections because it's already been made when you saw the glimpses in the other realm maybe we're talking about like a very deep meditation or like some sort of incredible out-of-body experience or like a dream work like i don't know like any sort of spiritual intense privileged perspective that you had with the magician right that you could understand the birth of relationships but very quickly losing sight of that and then bring, being brought back to where you are and being left with things that are it's almost like our expressions are human expressions of this higher love this true love here on earth right so ending here with the five of pentacles this is even like more it's like a, a confirmation to me, Libra, that when you stop wanting to go back to where you were, that you, it's like, it's almost like I'm seeing this as psychedelics, right? You know, when you, I have never taken any sort of thing like that, but it's like you could either have an incredible experience or either I've what I've heard of, you can have like a very, not negative experience, but very annoying, like a uh, um, loop, right? It's like you, uh, there are things that might go wrong, right? If you take all of those things, seeking the highs, right? seeking to go out there again seeking to there's such an interesting light going on here okay so what these three cards here especially with the five of pentacles right it's like be here now don't try to escape don't try to end any sort of relationship that is trying to give you this very human 
point of view that is an expression, another type of expression of this higher love, of what you are trying to find out, right? It's like, yes, you are left with just a tiny bit, but this is exactly what the guidance is coming from here with the Five of Pentacles and the Empress. It's like the natural connections that your brain has already made, that your neurons had already made because of that very intense experience that you had a glimpse of. It's like that, that path is already there but has been disconnected. So when you perceive the relationship that is right in front of you, no matter how mundane it is, that is exactly where you need to be for that path to be reconnected, for that natural connection to be attached again, so that you can have this higher understanding of something that is so human and that, yes, is so restricted, is so, you know, limited, but still is exactly what you're being encouraged to do and to perceive from this distant point of view right it's like now that you have lost the lens of the magician it's like now the only lens that you have are your own eyes so look at what you have around you right because like there is there is deeper understanding that will come from perceiving i want to say more than just relationships but like nature like the relationship between people and animal the the relationship between trees the relationship between bees and flowers like these types of relationships it's like there is well it's like this right it's like this it's still being in the washing machine but understanding how it moves right how it's connected and not thinking that you're just being thrown all over the place i hope this was you know um helpful and less confusing i truly it was hard but i truly hope that this helped to make sense if you are going through something similar to what i've described here at libra so now as a final guidance, let's see what the astrological runes want to add to you as a final guidance. So yeah, okay. So <laughs> that is the most interesting thing that I have received, I think, from the rune as a final guidance. So I'm going to explain to you, Libra. This rune is Neptune, right? And Neptune is all about the mysteries of the universe that you have catched a glimpse of. It's like you have you have had the experience of seeing beyond what is out there, right? What is beyond the black hole. So yes, it's like your antennas in a sense are connected to what is out there. But the way that I saw it first was exactly like this, upside down. And this is all about what you are going through this reading, right? Losing sense of what is up and what is down and going through these highs and lows, trying to seek some sort of direction that maybe you have lost, right? But when I saw it like this, what it was um, getting from this Neptune here at the end um, was that, yes, you have an incredible psychic gift, right? To connect with things that are really beyond what most people can, Libra. Or even like you had that ex inc incredible experience that really took you on this, I want to say, cosmic trip, right? But with the antennas of the, Nep the Neptune um, staff um, pointing downwards, it's like, use this to ground yourself. Use this to be here in this earthly realm where you are, where your intuition is needed, I want to say, right? So there's something that you are trying to maybe escape and go back 
right? And feeling frustrated that you are here still. But everything that you have seen from out there is important that you bring down here, right? So, and I feel like it has to do with this concept and it's more than that. It's more than just a concept because it's not something that you understand. It's something that you just feel and know. You know the truth of this all-encompassing love. So I feel like when you, it's like when you bring this down, when you anchor this to the earth, this is when these neurons can be reattached and reconnected to the point that things become, be things begin to blossom it's what i heard right now with the empress right so use all your abilities that you find in going you know traveling to outer space you know maybe with dreams with meditation with um spiritual work whatever it is bring it here anchor this intuitive knowledge this heartfelt experience here right? That was intense, Libra, but I truly, truly hope that if you are feeling confused and lost, that, you know, your incredible psychic abilities are needed and useful and necessary here on earth, right? Okay, so yeah, thank you so much for being here with me and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!